The aviation industry has witnessed remarkable advancements in recent years, especially in the realm of regional jet aircraft. Among these, two notable contenders stand out, the Chinese-made ARJ-21 and the Emperor E-195. Both aircraft have gained attention for their capabilities in the regional jet market, offering airlines versatile options for short to medium haul routes. In this comparison, we will delve into the key features, performance metrics, and market positioning of both aircraft to provide a comprehensive understanding of each. The ARJ-21, short for Advanced Regional Jet for the 21st century, is a product of China's ambition to establish itself as a key player in the global aerospace market. Developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC, the ARJ-21 aims to meet the burgeoning demand for regional air travel within China and beyond. With its maiden flight in 2008, the ARJ-21 marked China's bold entry into the design and manufacture of modern regional jets. Since entering commercial service, it has become a testament to China's dedication to innovation and self-reliance in the aerospace sector. In contrast, the Emperor E-195 is a well-established player in the regional jet market. Hailing from Brazil's Emperor, one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers, the E-195 is a distinguished member of Emperor's E-Jet family, celebrated for its unmatched efficiency, comfort, and reliability. Since its debut in the mid-2000s, the E-195 has soared to prominence. Serving both regional and short-haul routes, the E-195 continues to set the standard, delivering performance and distinction at every altitude. When comparing the China ARJ-21-900 and the Emperor E-195-E2, several differences emerge. The ARJ-21 boasts a seating capacity of up to 105 passengers in a single-class configuration, whereas the E-195 offers a higher seating capacity, accommodating 146 passengers in a single-class layout. In terms of dimensions, the ARJ-21 has a length of 36.35 meters and a wingspan of 27.28 meters, whereas the E-195 is slightly larger with a length of 38.66 meters and a wingspan of 28.73 meters. Additionally, ARJ-21 stands at a height of 8.44 meters, while E-195 features a taller height at 10.54 meters. ARJ-21 utilizing the CF-34-10A engine, generating 82 kilonewton of thrust, while the E-195E2, employing the Pratt & Whitney PW-1900G engine, generating 102 kilonewton of thrust. In terms of maximum takeoff weight, ARJ-21 has 47,182 kilograms, while the E-195E2 has a higher capacity at 52,290 kilograms, potentially enabling the E-195E2 to carry more payload over longer distances. The ARJ-21 boasts has service ceiling of 11,900 meters, compared to the E-195E2's has service ceiling 12,000 meters. ARJ-21 has wing area of 79.86 square meters, whereas E-195E2 features a larger wing area of 92.53 square meters.
ARJ-21 has range of 1,800 nautical miles, while the E-195E2 boasts a slightly longer range of 2,300 nautical miles, compared to the making it more suitable for longer routes and expanding the operational range for airlines. The ARJ-21 boasts a maximum speed of 870 km per hour, 470 knots, whereas the E-195E2 achieves a slightly higher maximum speed of 871 km per hour, 470 knots. The ARJ-21 now boasts a state-of-the-art supercritical wing crafted by the Antonov Design Bureau, featuring a sleek 25-degree sweepback along with winglets. China's advanced supercomputers have played a pivotal role in designing various components for the ARJ-21 aircraft. Emperor targets lower fuel consumption of 16 to 24 percent and maintenance costs per seat 25 percent. Built on the first version of the E-Jet, it features a new fly-by-wire system, new pylons, landing gear, horizontal stabilizers, cabin, cabin air system, air cycle machine. In January 2023, the Bureau formally approved the ARJ-21 passenger to cargo design. Change project signaling a significant advancement. The development of commercial jet cargo aircraft in country and a more secure step in the serialization of the ARJ-21 project. ARJ-21 passenger to cargo conversion is committed to becoming the main model in the regional air cargo market. The E-195E2 was successfully tested on 100% sustainable aviation fuels in June 2022, demonstrating that the E-Jet's E-2 series can fly with blends up to 100% without sacrificing performance or safety. Compared to earlier generations of aircraft, the E-2 emits 25% lower CO2 emissions now. With SAF, this reduction can reach 85%. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.